Nickelodeon launches Avatar Studios. Stop. Avatar Tell me more. Will expand <laughs> the world you said. of the Avatar um, and The Legend of Korra. Okay. So the, uh, the studio is designed to create original animated series and movies uh-huh. based on Avatar. The first project under the studio banner is an original animated theatrical film to begin production this year. Hmm. Yeah, okay. and you know we uh, we we had this Avatar news with this Netflix live action Netflix yeah. show that's going to be going, but then we had the kind of Falling bummer out of a news whatever. with the original creators leaving. Yeah, and the original creators have gone back to yep. Paramount and Nickelodeon are involved with this oh. the kicking off of this new movie and yeah. instead of live action they're going stuff, back which to is animation. Super exciting because yeah, the adaptation. You know, I'm still marginally excited for. It. I'm, I want to see what they do. Sure, but I've always said like, look, adaptations don't ruin the originals. We still yeah. will always have Avatar Last Airbender. You'll still always have Korra, mm-hmm. but now we'll have new of those as well, which, I mean, it's a, it's a franchise, especially once we got into it, that you're like, man, they are underutilizing this. You know? Yeah, well, it says here in the article, uh, let me find it again. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and Korra have grown at least tenfold in popularity since their original hit runs on Nintendo. You're welcome. Nicole, yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, Ramsey and I are incredibly excited to have Mike and Brian's genius talent on board to helm a studio devoted to expanding their characters and world into new content and formats for fans everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad that the uh, creators stuck to their guns and yeah. their their principles and stuff and didn't go forward on something that they weren't 100% behind. Mm-hmm. I wonder, like, you said the first thing's going to be a feature film, but I wonder yeah. what they can journey into, what they'll want to journey into, like... Will you tell more stories of, like, after the original Avatar, you know? I mean, they could go into, like, the the comic books. Will you tell stories of previous uh, Avatars that we've had, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Kyoshi or uh, Ozai, right? Ozai? Fire Lord? No, that's Fire Lord. Yeah, that's a Fire Lord. Fire Lord Ozai. Fire Lord Ozai. Who was a fire? Kyoshi, and then there was a fire. Oh, Roku. Roku. Yeah. Yeah, That's who I was trying to think of. Oh, you can do a tag. The, done it the previous, like, times will they have before. stories about them or something along those lines, yeah. or will they? They could also just make a whole new character, like the next Avatar after Korra. It's a know? mistake mm-hmm. that they didn't go with the Roku service to launch these things. It is mm. this um, opportunity, yeah. I suppose, exclusive to Roku. But why? Just because <laughs> for the I, pun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that, that's the most exciting news I had. I had met. I had seen all week, honestly. Yeah, I had yeah, heard just a little so much bit potential. about this. Well, and the good thing is, like, you know, ratings mean different things yeah. in a streaming service Absolutely. than they do on cable. Yes. So, like, hopefully they won't be as quick to get involved or cancel. Or Absolutely. And, I mean, with it not being, like, a broadcast thing, you shed all of these other limitations, like runtime and, and uh, it's, you know, your having studio ad- execs and all that stuff. Yeah, that are just ha- messing having to be advertiser-friendly. Exactly. Yeah. You get to uh, open things up. And they have a large timeline already, but in terms of stuff that hasn't been explored from Avatar 1 to Avatar Korra, sure. you have a thousand I mean, generations. The Avatar 1 <laughs> you know? storyline that they gave Not us was really cool. Lot. You could go further with that. If you, you could really go back to, to Avatar know? Kyoshi easily, and you know, like she was a pretty hard core in the stuff that we saw. Yeah. I'd like to see more of that. And granted, there's also been some like comics and books released since then that are yeah, within that sure. canon you could adapt those if you wanted well, yeah. to yeah. I mean, is it possible to get like a clone wars new season mm-hmm. of a Korra? Yeah. yeah the film could be i mean one of the books cover um uh zuko's mother exactly you know? which was a dangling thread in That's, the original series that was, that one of, was covered yeah that exactly. was something that they never covered in the series uh-huh. but they did it in a comic you could i mean the, the film could be adapting that comic into a animation and you at least get to finish off telling that story in the animation format yeah. and stuff, you know? Bring back uh, Dante and stuff, and that'd be, it'd, be, it'd be pretty cool. I wonder how many of the voice actors would be able to come back or would be willing to. I mean... Like, get an older Zuko, but it's voiced by Dante? Oh, yeah. That'd that. be cool to do. That would be awesome. <laughs> he would do it. He does great work on the uh, Star Wars Kids channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a galaxy of adventure. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's exciting news. Um, <clears throat> I would like to... Have this popularity spin off into like some cool, some kind of like really good video game would be cool in that universe, like the one that the guy's making in dreams, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now, with I more mean, people and more money behind it, yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting because Korra feels, even though it's the same world, it feels very different, you sure. know, just because of the way that the Bender society has developed super quickly and industrialized and stuff. But whenever I think Avatar, I keep thinking of the world presented in The Last Airbender 
So my mind goes there, <laughs> but I'm open to liking that yeah. more as well. Well, you go because back. Cor- well, Cora had that like stilting thing when it was like, all right, do a season. That's it. Yeah. Oh, no, do another season. All right, that's it. And do another one, you know? Yeah. I'll do the fourth one. Ah, fuck it. We're not going to air it, you know? Like, they had so many roadblocks there that yeah. I would. I think that those guys deserve having a little more open yeah. territory. And plan out. Like, uh, if they, I hope that they kind of spend some time. I, I imagine. I don't know because I'm not there. But, like, what Marvel does with, like, their movies and the TV shows and all that yeah. is they kind of get some ideas and, like, a general roadmap of what they want to release and how much they want to release of mm-hmm. whatever, you know? Yeah. That way you kind of have an idea of your like story they do, you're telling. they do it in phases. Yeah. You have an idea of the story you're telling and where we want to get to. Yeah. And do that with, like, your the Avatar universe or whatever. And you, yeah. could have, you could have one series come out that's about Aang. And, you know, in between the two series or an adult Aang. Yeah. But then also, after that's done, after a little bit of time, you also have a Kyoshi storyline or something, True. you know? But it would be cool to see, like, what you're saying where, like, Korra has, like, that a little bit further in the future mm-hmm. and, like, it has a different feel. Like, going back further, like, yeah. how much different does it feel when they are even newer, you know? Like, yeah. if Avatar you know, won, like, we didn't get to see too much. There was a mm-hmm. lot more forest and animals and spirits and stuff kind of controlling more things. Like... At some point, that must have changed and shifted, yeah. you know? Like, you could see stories like that happening or something. So, I'm curious then, like, you know, it, we have all this open room that we can tell some cool stories and see good visuals. What's the one thing you don't want to see told now that we have this? You know, like, there's part of me that's like, oh, man, I would like to see uh, Uncle Iroh's original Conquest of Boston say and maybe stuff about his son. But there's also a part of me that, like, the scene of him singing, you know, at his son's grave is such a powerful scene it it might take away from the power if you shed more light on it you know well, maybe and, i want to stay away from that and you can't bring back mako that's exactly right yeah and so yeah you, you just <laughs> he's so integral you know? to that yeah but do you tell the story of the sun in a way that could work that then makes that even more impactful when you get when you rewatch that yeah. in avatar last airbender you know like that's already an impactful moment but could yeah. you do it where like you're telling it the history of it mm-hmm in a different way or even more so so that it hits you even harder yeah you know or do you it's, just you know you go past Korra and you do the next avatar which is earth and then you yeah. do a series after that which is fire and then you have the four there's been times in star wars where like here's what i got yeah and like oh man that was a sad moment or an emotional moment mm-hmm. but then they tell a story in some other entity that then when you go back and watch this part it hits even differently True. or even more so yeah. than what it did before you know so that's definitely a thing that they could do too yeah but I mean, you know, good for them, and uh, it definitely it scratches that itch of like when I was excited that those two original creators were on the Netflix show. I'm still excited for the Netflix show. Just you know, I'm now made whole yeah. <laughs> by knowing. Mm-hmm. This is that is Netflix show too. still happening? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, man. I wonder how that's gonna go then. I know it's interesting. Mm-hmm. From what I've heard, there's some very undesirable changes in the I lore mean, and stuff, but I don't know. It's all just rumors as well, so yeah, I mean, anything could change. Know that and how's it gonna? I don't know. We'll, I'll see. Mm-hmm. I um, remain open to it. I, I think that it would be a mistake to like. No, we can't do that. You know, sure. like no, yeah. I There's, really enjoyed the Avatar movie. I enjoyed. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I it thought. wasn't. I think it was over. Yeah. Not hyped. The opposite of hyped. Yeah. It was underhyped. True. Over but it was also under. not great, and it had some of the worst moments I've ever seen. Sure. There were some bad things. You just haven't seen it. But I was there. expecting worse. I've seen Evolution, Dragon Ball Evolution. That was worse. Oh, no. that was I'm just worse. saying, that one was worse than <laughs> was the Avatar movie. Was it worse? But the Avatar movie has a standard worse. to reach, and it definitely didn't. It did not. And then they were, but it had, you know what? It had some great design. It, it actually did have some very fantastic, some fantastic choreography. Yeah. I just think it got the, the actual flow and and uh pace of bending incorrect yeah but then like just you know that one shot that they did it didn't add anything and it made the worst moment in the movie or all movies which is the five earth benders doing 75 moves to throw one little rock kind of at a mile an hour not moving yeah no yeah. i mean i i agree i don't think it was it was good i don't think it really did well for avatar or anything but yeah. if you're gonna say that that's the worst movie ever you haven't seen enough worse movies. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. It that might, was definitely not even. I think it meets under expectation of what you want for Avatar. No, yeah. 
but there's definitely worse <coughs> movies out there. Mm-hmm. Made for a good reaction. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it literally right now. True. Uh, but to get down from that low, I'm excited for Avatar Studios. It was a whole studio made just for this, which yeah. is interesting. You know, it's like yeah. Lucasfilm Animation just doing Star Wars, you know? 